I'm whipping up my sprinkly glazed yeast donuts, which are super fluffy and tender thanks to a secret ingredient of potato. More specifically, potato flour, because I don't have time to boil a potato and mash it right now before adding it to my dough. Potato flour is my favorite hack for adding potato-y vibes to any sort of dough. I'll start with half a cup, three cups of all-purpose flour, a quarter cup of sugar. The donuts themselves aren't too sweet, but the glaze is nice and sweet, so it all balances out. Two and a quarter teaspoons of instant yeast and one and a half teaspoons of salt. That's combined, ready for my wet ingredients. I've got one cup of whole milk here. That's warm, so that it activates the yeast. And a couple of eggs for that good richness. And a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Old school all the way. And I'll mix this to combine. It's a stiff, crumbly dough right now, but I'm gonna richen it up with six tablespoons of softened butter and I'll add this one tablespoon at a time. Okay, I'll let this last tablespoon incorporate and then I'll continue to knead for about seven to 10 minutes until I have a smooth, slightly sticky dough. If it's too sticky though, I can dust with more flour as needed. Smoother than a baby's tush. I'll ball this up. Oh yeah, look at how shiny this is. I'll stick it top down into my bowl that has a little neutral oil and turn it to coat. I'll cover this up and then let this rise until it's doubled in size. My dough is rested and puffy, and now I'm ready to stamp out my donuts. I'll roll it out to a half inch thick. It feels so pillowy and cloud-like. I use a three inch donut cutter, twisting down as I punch out my donuts to seal the edges. Just like this. I'll keep on stamping these out, and then I'll cover them up and allow them to proof one more time until they're slightly puffed in size. I can't wait. My donuts are ready to fry. My oil is heating here to 350 degrees. I'll fry these up in batches for a few minutes on each side until they're golden. Sizzling already. I love pretending like my house is a donut shop. I'll flip these every so often so that I can make sure that they're browning evenly all over. They are ready to come out of the oil. Look at that. Hello. I'll transfer these to a wire rack now so that any excess oil can drip off. The quicker they cool, the quicker I can eat them. I'll keep frying up these donuts and then whip up a fitting glaze for the sprinkle. Nice, thick powdered sugar and milk glaze here. And I'm gonna dye it pink because that is the iconic sprinkle donut color. And it's a really bright pink too. <laughs> and to finish decorating my donuts, I'll pipe on the glaze using a bag fitted with a round tip. These are looking awesome. The glaze is falling over the side really prettily. Before the glaze dries, I'll finish with the star of the show, the sprinkles. Hee <laughs> hee. Ta-da! These look gorgeous. 